All right, we're back with some more Fran Bo. Last time we started our escape to find our cat. We went through the forest. We met some new friends. The heads, which were fireflies, I think. The big ant guy, the boar beetle or beetle pig, which we killed. <laughs> um, and it seems like things are getting messy from taking all the pills. We're starting to see some uh, supernatural things in the normal world, not the pill world. But maybe that's also... It could also just be like... I mean, I'm pretty sure it's that, but... Um, it could be... Um, just stuff in the real world. Who knows how this world works, right? But we... We collected a door and we entered through a stump to follow the tracks of our cat, but we got knocked out and put into another place. I'm sure we're still, um, we still went through the stump and not like right back to the forest, but, um, we'll see. So just from the tire, we woke up with like a Mr. Midnight hat. Is it in our inventory? No. Um... I assume we're like, this person either met Mr. Midnight or because we're, we're like not too far away from Mr. Midnight, right? We're like decently on his trail. Um, so they could have met it. They could like another cat. Again, a lot of this is friend psychological stuff. So maybe this is just an enemy. I'm not sure. But we'll explore this, um, this place. I believe this chapter is called, like, Twin Personalities, and there's a Siamese twin, so that's to say something. Um, why is this part painted black and white? Maybe they didn't have enough to paint everything. I guess everyone has different styles and tastes. It's always refreshing playing this game. I just love the dialogue. Let's see what this note is. Welcome home, beautiful kitten. We hope you like your new bed. Be nice and eat your food. Clara and love Clara and Mia heart or Maya Mia oh huh this is not home I guess they thought I was a cat they can't love me they don't even know me there's the food <laughs> meat and some red liquid oh I won't lay down in that then I should try to get out of here instead with my kitty of course not by myself the cat could be here, but he seems to always be one step ahead. Let's check the window. Oh, I closed the window so the cold wind stays out. I opened the window so the cold wind comes in. So that's going to be a puzzle, I think. It's fun to see what people have in their homes. Let me see. Bottles, a milk jar, and dry flowers. Huh? Nothing of interest. Are those eyes... Maybe they like to see things, so they need more eyes. That's cute. I have my pills. They make me see a lot of weird things. And a skull. Hmm, a head from a human, I guess. Skulls always look so happy. It's true. <laughs> Maybe they realize... They haven't realized that they are dead. A painting of a teapot with painted tea inside. With lemon and honey. Hmm. I usually don't do lemon or honey, but only when I'm like sick. I prefer lemon over honey, but sometimes I just mix both. You know how it is. Ooh. Got a cookie jar. Mmm, yummy. Cookies in colors, in all colors and flavors. Mm hmm. Got the honey. Honey bear, you taste fabulous. Flower makes me sneeze, but that is a. But this is a funny feeling. There's like flowers next to it. Funny. King Leo's baking soda. This always makes the biggest cupcakes. A pine cone. I don't dare touch it. Maybe he'll attack me <laughs> from the last uh, session with the pine cone family. Spatula. It sounds like Dracula, but in spa. Just double clicking just in case. Oh, a sharp shiny knife. It can be good to have on you. Oh no, another weapon. I mean, the axe was super useful, but... I don't really want to kill more people. To dry my little hands. And spoon. I don't have soup. I don't need a spoon. Okay. So we looted. Uh, no, we still have. 
the pitcher, the firewood, and the oven. A torture to cook, my mommy told me how to use this. I don't like to light matches though. It always feels like it could burn my entire face. Relatable. I hate lighters and matches. Wood. Firewood to keep the chimney warm. Poor trees. I wonder if they stream all the time while they're burning. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to look at our new things. Sharpie knife to cut stuff and protect me and my kitty from evil. Baking powder to make soft dough bigger and beautiful. Uh, and the picture. Mr. Midnight, those girls, they took my kitty. I don't like to be selfish, but that is my kitty. I like their blue dresses, though. <laughs> Alright, I think we're good here. Let's, uh, pill it up. Okay, see, this is weird. So pills are bringing us to the real world when they... They used to make us trip out, now they bring us to the real world, since we're getting lost into a fantasy world. So we actually are in the well, somehow. Uh, there's a rock, a secret bottle with a secret inside it. It's a bottle? It looks like a rock hanging there. I'm very curious right now, what could it be? Well, we probably need something to uh, step on. Oh, I see. You have it comfortable there, little baby. Did your mommy drop you? I bet she did it because she was sick. It's not your fault. You see, I'm fresh. Are you still alive? So this is where people drop their unwanted children, I think, in the well. In the past, I guess. You are a clever little baby. You took the placenta with you. This, The placenta is like a jetpack of blood and nutrients. I guess we can't see him take it. <laughs> Hello, little baby. What are you doing there? Nobody loves you, but you're so pretty. I like you. At least you're on the wall. Like a picture so everybody could see you. And we have steps. Interesting. See this? Oh, there's the bottle. And then we cut it with our knife. Can we jump? I can't get there from here. I need a bridge. Okay. That would, <laughs> I would be worried for Fran. So we, now we, we have the knife to cut. Or we can either like poke it if we got like a stick to attach it to. Or we can um, make a bridge. Wow. That was a big change. Let's see what else is next. Okay. We, so we can actually go more... So let's see, pictures of meat. <laughs> this doesn't bring me any good memories. Why? You don't like meat on your wall? We got the cabinet. The bed smells funny. I won't touch it. I don't like beans that much. I think beans are pretty good. Salt, a very good ingredient. Okay. This smells like a weed we had in our garden. It opened, and what's that inside? What an odd little thing. It looks like a seed. I wonder who mushes because he owns all the mushrooms. Haha. <laughs> Squirrel's body parts. I don't want to know. That's just peanuts. <laughs> Kitty likes to play with olives. I guess he thinks they are insects. If there's garlic, there's no vampires. Pepper, always good to dress up the soup. I won't take somebody else's food. Not all of it, anyways. And bird. What a pretty can. So we're looting. I don't exactly know what we're gonna use this for. A rare seed. I wonder what kind of flower will grow from it. Salt and pepper, good to dress a delicious soup. I wonder if you like plant this seed in the well. And it made such a beanstalk. <laughs> I don't know about that though. Seems optimistic. I won't sit down. I won't sit down. Okay, let's turn that off. But that might be useful. The window is locked. Great. We're only having one. We usually have like three lines, but these are oneers. This looks like a plant. What happened? Oh, a dancing teddy. 
It doesn't have shoes, but it does have a tie. That makes Teddy happy. Oh, a dancing Teddy. Oh, it's only a tour. <laughs> I have matches to light up the darkness or just for fun. A matchbox with many matches to light. Flowers. They don't smell. They must be plastic flowers then. So we don't have anything else here. But we do have a door. Oh, we can go through it. Okay. Uh, let's pill it up. We should still be in the well, though. So, like, where would we go? Yeah, so this might be a one... Oh, wait. Why is it glowing? I don't know. But this might be a one place. Oh, I actually didn't mean to do that. I wanted to test the seed out. Moonlight Reflection. Oh. Wow, this is a really nice blue rose. Well, it didn't work exactly how I thought it would, but... <laughs> that's good. Alright. I mean, I still will pill every time. I wonder why it doesn't have the eyeball. Let's look at the pictures. Blue rose. Moonlight water, naked lady. That was a mysterious woman. I like the blue rose. I never saw a rose in the ocean. Maybe it's an old story. Maybe the moon gave her the rose because he loves her. I guess this is like a hint to get the blue rose. What a tiny house in the middle of nowhere. A walk on the beach wouldn't take so long. It looks like somebody lives there. They have a chimney. Oh. Their faces look familiar from the picture, but I'm not sure. Could it be? I mean, unless it's like an inmate we know. They don't really look too similar to the others. Unless it's Fran's face, but it didn't look like it. I mean, it kind of does. This is not my cup. The teapot has no tea at all. Sugar in many colors. Delicious and beautiful. My mouth is melting. I'm so hungry, nobody will notice if one cup kick is on. <laughs> we just took a cup plate. Oh, we can't take any more. Cake, mmm, caramel sauce all over it. The cake looks absolutely yummy. I could eat the whole thing. Sweet candy. Chocolate cake, my favorite. Should I? Maybe just a little. Mmm, delicious. Let me eat more. Come on, give me the food. Okay, what's this? Is that a flying pit? Well, we saw a beetle pit, so it shouldn't be too different. I wonder if any friendly animal would fly like this. That would be a new experience. Not that I don't have any. Now I understand what deer wanted back what the deer wanted back in the hospital. It didn't want to get its head fixed. It wanted its head on the wall. Silly me. Got some fire, cozy and warm. I sh could burn him things here, things I don't need. But you never know when you'll need something. Firewood and line to be burnt. I mean, can we like burn this? Oh, okay, I was scared. <laughs> Don't want to waste items. I mean, just in case we'll pill again, but. Yeah. You never know. There's an upstairs, but let's go left first. Let's go uh, upstairs. No, no, we'll, we'll stay here. That is scary. Oh my goodness, the smell. Um, we might have just gotten cursed. Poor girl, who could have done this and why? I need to be careful and protect my kitty and myself. Oh my goodness, the smell. Hey, it's the big ant boys. Antonio the Greatest... 
Luciano Mirin, Queen of Meat. Oh yeah, the ant also like, like the ant Playboy thing had her on meat. Maybe that's a theme or something. Huh? Wait a minute. Is that the big ant from the woods? Oh, it could have. Oh yeah, yeah. It's his home. He has a little pine cone too. So he was a jazz star. It could be him. Only a bit younger. Chance. I think I saw that name early. Oh my god, it's all coming together, dude. It's the Jants. Can we, like, play it? Oh, a record player. I wonder if it works. Let's see. Oh, there it is. It works. Maybe I should keep it down. Nah, let's play some Jants. Well, a window's open. Can we use it? Guess not. Oh, a typewriter. And it works. I guess I could write, but there's no paper. Okay, so we need paper for that. I like the sound of the fireplace crackling too. It really adds to that atmosphere. And we have another shelf, maybe to loot. There are many books and things on the shelf. So many that it makes me dizzy. I'll just leave it there. Owls and cats are a bit alike. Both are curious, both like to kill mice. And both are good companions of witches. Alright. There's more pictures, we should check that out. What about this candle thing? Burning candles. Many tiny paintings, and there's a cat. When I grow up, I'll have a lot of cat paintings on my walls. And other things too, but I'm not grown up yet. Well, there's two ways to go up. Let's go up this way first. Oh, there's a sh- uh. I do want a pill now and see how it's different. Ooh. So it drops you down. Just, yeah, we're going upstairs. How would that work? There's a broom. A broom to fly away or just clean around. So we can maybe, like, do this. This won't work, huh? Maybe we need tape. No, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry, friend. <laughs> but how were we that high anyways? Well, we can use this time to combine. I mean, I, I can't. Okay. Try not to press the pills, Aiden. It just comes naturally. A monster who likes goats. The goat looks angry. <laughs> I guess he is titlish or annoyed. The sisters, they look alike. Pink and blue, complete opposites. This is a rose. Red rose in a painting, huh? Check the drawers. A drawer open, let's see what's inside. Black candles to light up the darkness. Five black candles to light up my way. Well, black candles is never really a good thing. There's also a pulley thing. Oh, a ladder. Perhaps Mr. Midnight is up there. Let's go in the other room first. We haven't seen the sisters, which is bothering me, because we know someone's here. Uh, there's a mirror. A mirror, but why is my reflection not there? Huh? Hello, huh? This mirror doesn't do its job. It has a little keyhole. Maybe it's just a core. Oh, up there. A little keyhole. I wonder if there's a key for this one. Oh, it's that monster and so much blood. I guess I'm not the only one who can see him then. Is he holding a head? I have to be careful. This is like a very old painting. A mommy holding two babies. I wonder... White candles everywhere. But we have black candles. Let's loot the chest, maybe? Hmm, the perfume smells like teenagers. Nice stuff, very girly. I guess I'll be very girly when I grow up. I'll lay down and sleep tight when I get back home. Aunt Grace has for sure put some new sheets. I love the feeling of my sleepy head on a clean pillow. Ugh, these toys are so ugly. I hope they didn't hear me. I don't want them trying to catch me and kill me. Hello doll, who caught you? I hope this never happens to me. I guess it doesn't need to happen if I'm clever enough. Oh, water all around. Water makes me feel helpless. Oh, I didn't even notice. I thought those were drapes. And because I can't swim, I'll have to navigate something. Oh, no, we're on. Okay, those are drapes. 
We're on the house in the island thing. Kitty is really afraid of water too. Oh god, I didn't even see these heads. I wonder what the deal with the heads and roses. I guess I'll figure it out someday. Those are like hollow humans. Excuse me. We picked up something good though, didn't we? No, we literally picked up nothing. Okay. No, we, we have that. Let's go out to the other room first. I mean, we can light the matches, but like, what's the point? I don't see the puzzle yet. The stairs end up in a wall. Maybe that was the door I made and now it disappeared. Mmm, interesting. I'll have to find another way out. So this is where the well, li I mean, it made sense. We're in a well. <laughs> where else would the well lead? Okay, so we only have the upstairs part. Let's check it out. I hate it. Mr. Midnight, where are you? Can't see very well. Mr. Midnight, where are you? Oh, I oh golden cage. Mr. Midnight, where are you? Okay, okay. That's the golden cage. Okay. I hate the sound. So what am I supposed to do here? Mm. I mean, I don't know why I'm trying. Okay. Uh, so we can't do that yet. Oh, there's like a light switch. Beautiful, I didn't even see that. Okay, that made sense. This is a pretty creepy place. Let's start left from right. The toys in the attic always carry sadness with them. It's very understandable. I wouldn't want to be abandoned in the attic. Hmm, a lot of tiny stuff. Is that an angel's head? Weird stuff you can't find in the attic. A dusty mirror and some other things. I won't put my hands inside the box. This must be like a thousand spiders in there. I like my own dress, but those are pretty too. I guess I don't need them. I hope nobody's behind that mask. Little Japanese doll thing. What a pretty doll. I like the hairstyle. Why are you sitting there? There are many dolls to play with, but I wouldn't play with any of them. They look scary. There's an umbrella. That's a big umbrella. Guess we can't take that. What is that? Miss Rat, it's time to get up. Oh, it's a dead rat. I met another rat a while ago. Miss Rat, are you tired, sir? Huh. I don't want to miss anything. There's a clock. No. There's a hat. Just one hat. Just one hat. Just one hat. <laughs> okay. Ew, it's alive. Oh, hello, ba little babies. Who sold you two together? It looks like it hurts. Don't cry, all right? You should smile and be nice. It's time to sleep. That is actually... I mean, it's gross, but that sound is awesome. Awesomely disturbing. A scorpion. Scorpions make me nervous. They walk with their butt in the air, ready to stab you. Maybe it's a zodiac thing. I'm a Sagittarius. Oh. Oh, let's see this. The sisters. They have the same jacket that I had when I was in the hospital. But if they are sisters, why are they so old? The sisters. So I was like, can we use any of our bags? Sorry. I just wanted to hear that again. <laughs> Fox head? Foxy, oh no, I wish I could take you out of there. What's their, what is their problem? Poor Foxy Fox. Hope someday I find a Fox that isn't dead so I can talk to it. So, and we have boots. 
those shoes are too big for me. A bunny doll. What are you, are you waiting for Easter? Do you lay eggs or do you steal them from a chicken? And how do eggs become chocolate eggs? All cute questions. Okay, what's in here? Mr. Midnight, are you here, kitty? Meow. I don't trust it, but... Mr. Midnight, don't be scared. I'm here for you. Fran, is that really you? Oh dear, finally. I don't trust it, but... Uh... It's me. Come closer, please. Let me see you. Oh my god, it is him. I mean, he did say that he was in a golden cage, so... I didn't expect to see him so fast. Oh, Fran, I'm so happy to see you. I missed you very much. I had dreams about you. And here you are. Thanks for not giving up. I love you, my friend. But that means Mr. Midnight's inside this well. Sounds horrible. I love you too, Mr. Midnight, and I really missed you. Oh, dear Fran, how did you find this place? After those people who you t took you away in the woods, I tried to follow them. But after a while, I got lost. My senses were too weak to track you. I tried to catch some food to recover, but... Something happened. Somebody took me and put me in this cage. Oh, my dear. I will open this cage. We need to get to Aunt Grace. Fran, I'm very tired. I wish everything was just a bad dream. Everything is going to be fine. We just have to get out of here. Fran, can I ask you something? Sure, Mr. Midnight. What is it? Did you feel my presence in your dreams? Yes, I did. You told me to take the medicine and find you. What medicine, Fran? It wasn't really me talking to you. I think somebody was helping us get together. Every time I had dreams about you, I felt the presence of something else. Really? What kind of presence? For what I felt, it wasn't human, but it was really peaceful and kind. That's the real magic. Great to have someone else taking care of us. Fran, did you hear that? Did you? Oh, I'll see what it is. I'll try to find the key and unlock you, right? I love you. Go on, Fran. Please get me out of this stage. Find the key. Okay, so... We actually see Mr. Midnight. That's great. Oh! <laughs> that was spooky. I wonder if we can, like... How does this kind of work? How high are we going to drop? Pretty high. Okay. So what the heck are we supposed to do? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh! Oh, you scared me. I thought nobody was living here. <laughs> that extra scared me. There you are. We were waiting for you. Where's your head? My head? My head is just in the right place. You, the precious being from the other world, who would ever believe us? I'm very confused now, ladies. What are you talking about? Fran Bo. That's your name, right? And your mom and dad died tragically. Very brutal, right? And now you really want to know who killed them, right? Slow down. How's that you know all of this? We just know. We have to. We are part of this world. But don't be sad. Bad things happen to all of us all the time. I wish I was at home with mommy and daddy now. Don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. I should do that, but mommy and daddy will never come back. Drink some tea and eat some cake. It will make you feel better. Thank you, but really, I need to know who told you these things about me. Are you scared, little friend? A little. It's odd that the way I came here, and this conversation makes me confused. You haven't asked about your cat yet, Mr. Midnight. That's very odd for a girl who loves a cat more than anything else in the world. And yet you look so calm after finding him in the cage, hungry and scared. Shouldn't it be us trembling in fear of you? I love him, and that's why I'm here. I didn't mean to be rude to you. You want him back? Yes, please. I really wish you have him back. He is my best friend. Before we set him free, tell us about how it is that you came here. It's a long story. I escaped from a place. A very ugly place. They opened the heads of children to find out what's wrong with them. Phil told me a secret, and I was clever enough to find the way out. 
And then I came into the woods and met a giant ant. And I killed a bug, and it was terrible. And then I met a rat who wanted to get his hair done. And then I made a door, and that door took me here. But when I entered the door, something happened. I don't remember anything else. Ah, oh, I saw a real pinecone family. <laughs> that was before I came here. They lived in Mr. Antonio's house. They liked berries. Ah, and I saw a flying insect that got stuck in the trees because they have long hair. That was also in the woods, and here I am, looking for Mr. Midnight. That was some adventure. How old are you, Fran? I'm 10 years old, but I have to turn 11 soon, and you? We are 16 years old, much older than you, so you have to obey us. I don't want to obey you. You can't tell me what to do. You haven't even asked her names. That's not polite. And you shouldn't wander around in a house without permission. Are you stupid? A stupid little girl with no family at all? I'm not stupid, and I do have a family. I have Aunt Grace and my kitten. Are you crying? Because if you are, you'll get in trouble. If you don't do exactly as we say, you and your cat will die. Do you understand? Oh. No, you don't scare me. Free my cat now. You idiot. You asked for it. If you don't do what we asked for, bad things will happen to your cat. We will force you to kill him with your own hands. Oh no, please. I'll do whatever you asked for. Good. Now listen to us carefully. We need you to perform a little magic trick on us. Do you like magic? Yes, Annie also did magic, but she didn't have any idea how to actually do it. Anyway, this magic is very powerful. It's tremendous and dangerous. Here's the recipe. Be cautious and precise, otherwise terrible things can happen. Summon the old... Okay. Why can't you do it yourselves? We can't do it. It would kill us. You see, we weren't like this before. We used to be two different people in two different bodies. But how's that like you're this now? One day, a long time ago, something appeared in front of us. We thought it was an angel, but it was not. He decided that we should spend eternity together. He cursed us to be like this. We never understood why. We have this spell to bring him back. But we will do that later, when we are not attached to each other anymore. And show him that he is powerless and he will regret it. That sounds terrible. I'll try my best to help you. We are going to gather some things you will need for the ritual. And because you have a very have been a very nutty girl, you won't ever be able to talk to your cat. You won't even be able to. You have to wait until we come back. Okay, I understand. I'll be waiting here. And Fan, do you see this key? Can you imagine what can be opened with it? Can you? Silly, you silly, silly girl. Ha ha ha. Bitch. I'm going to talk to my cat. <laughs> oh, those girls, they locked the attic. But how? Okay. So let's see what's in this recipe. Summon the old lost body. Lost in darkness, lost in tears, your body becomes a lie through the hand of one angel that decides to bring you sorrow. You, you will need the heart of a frog, the head of a young virgin, hair and blood from a black cat, a pentagram made of ashes, the burnt body of a fox. This must all be cooked together inside a pot or a cauldron with plenty of water. When you are about to drink the potion, repeat, Manambu tasene o manai irban ted erbur esh irban man tasene mubata uber firwen firwen. I don't know what language that is, but I think I just said some satanic stuff. So I thought we were gathering stuff we needed, but I mean, these could help. We don't have, like, almost any of that. We know where the fox is, though. We can grab the fox head, I think. But a body, like a frog heart, the head of a virgin. Oh, wait, there's tweezers. We missed these tweezers to pick up things my little hands can't. Stuff that my tiny hands can't. Can't believe we missed that. I don't think we need anything here. 
I'm sorry, I'm already forgetting. Heart of a frog, head of a virgin, hair and blood from a black cat. Well, we don't want. Oh! Where do you go? Stop popping out here. Let's go right or left. Where did they go? What the heck? Okay. Well, can we like. Hmm. I am not sure what we can do. Where was that fox head? Wasn't it like in the attic? So we can't even pick it up. We need it for the ritual. What the? Oh, isn't this guy? It's him again, but I haven't taken my pills. Well, he opened the window. Thank you, but who is he? He's the guy who helped us escape the locked room. Um, I think the skeleton hand, and I think we saw him one other time. But he opened the window, that's good. Well, there's the frog. Hello, frog. Hey, you. Yes, who's speaking? Me, I'm a toad. I have to tell you something. Yes, what is it? You are in great danger. Don't trust the girls. Why do you say that? Look, girl, I'm a toad, and I know I can swim away from this place. But they won't let me. Every time I get out, try to get out of here. I magically come back. This house is like a huge magnet. A toad and a cat magnet. They love us, but not to give us love. Just to use us. Don't trust them. I mean, just from the recipe, I assume they're gonna try to use Mr. Midnight. And probably our head has the virgin. That's terrible. That's why my teddy is here then. They give you a recipe for some kind of magic, right? How did you know that? Did you see the dead girl in one of the rooms? Well, that can be you if you try to do it. She tried, but she did it wrong. Well, what should I do then? I'm not a very clever toad, but if I were you, I would be creative. Huh? Creative? I'll tr do my best. And girl, please save us all. I really want to get out of here. Can I, like, kill you? <laughs> For your heart? Okay. <laughs> There's a rock. A big, big rock. I'll leave it here. There's a bicycle. A rusty old bicycle in the middle of an island. I don't think it would take me very far. There's nothing but water around this house. Flowers. There's a tree. The moon. Water. Moonlight on the water, you're so beautiful and calm. I always feel like the moon is following me. I wonder if the moonlight does the same job as sunlight. So this doesn't actually give us stuff. I don't know what to do, I'm mentally stuck. I know you have something that makes you see things others can't. How do you know that? I'm, ta I'm a talkative toad. Is that the pro normal? I don't think so. But you can talk to me, that makes you special. It's logical. Yes, you're right, but what about the things I can see then? Have you seen everything? Maybe you're missing some messages. I'll see what I can find. Okay. I, well, let's see what pills take us out here. Ooh. Doubters need the truth on paper. I mean, it made sense. We kind of went outside of the, the well. Doubters, I guess some people believe you when it's written down. But what does it mean? Who wrote this? I have papers, yes, but what truth? Bicycle's still there. <laughs> Hello, girl. My sister's trying to catch me, but I ran away. I'm scared. Would you help me? I have a monster inside of my head. Do you want a blue rose? Ah, oh, it won't work. What? It Wait, what is she called? Nothing, of course. No, I mean, I don't know. What do you want? You want some matches? <laughs> okay. 
interesting. So maybe the dead girl was trying, maybe there's two ghosts and one's the bloody one was trying to catch this one for the sacrifice or something. So we have stuff to cook. Let's try to see if we can grab the bottle thing. Maybe we can use our broom as a bridge, which sounds ridiculous, but maybe it'll work. It's a very sketchy bridge. Um, it looks stable, let's see. Whoa. Ah, uh, bad piece of broom, bad. Well, that's not good. Now what do we do? <laughs> I knew that wouldn't work, but... Oh shit, that's bad. lost a piece. We lost our broom. And I can't do anything. Well, let's try. Let's try to cut stuff. I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing, but might as well just try. It's quite windy in here. The match won't stay lit. Alright. Fire. A cut is just cut. I don't know what I'm doing. So how would I use this creatively? <laughs> mm, inside a pot with water. We don't have a pot. We can turn on the water to fill something, but we don't have a pot. That's a pot. Okay. Oh, I'll keep this to cook a lovely dinner for my kitty. Okay, did- was that always there? I guess it was, but we couldn't click on it. Yeah, because it was next to the eyeballs. Well, let's start cooking, I guess. Water, water in the pot, ready to cook. Well, let's put the cauldron on the stove. Let's salt and pepper it. I don't know. You can put salt in boiling water. I do that for pasta. Okay, so we have stuff. There is so much stuff and I just don't know what I should. Can we take the head? No. Can we take an eyeball for the road? <laughs> All right. Flour, honey, cookies. Spatula, spoon. Alright, alright, alright. Did we see those roses before? This looks like a plant. Yeah, we did. Okay. We took everything. Birds. The 
what's in this pot? I don't remember that being there. There we go. A vase of flowers in. It has ashes inside. Mm, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to combine these two. Well, there's the ashes we can do a pentagram with. Can we, like, fill the base with water? <laughs> okay, so we definitely need to double check around the house. Okay, okay, I was just wondering. We have the candles. It sounds like we're summoning the devil, which isn't a good thing, but... really wish I had the fox head. But we don't have the paper. The ant chest doesn't do anything. Okay. Put the candles, that's lot. I'm not sure what else we can get. Something to do with the mirror? I would like to assume it's more for the keys later. I think this is definitely the most lost I've been since I can't think of like what I'm supposed to do at all. Oh yeah, so this wasn't referring to the twins, it was referring to the ghost. Right, right. Hmm. <laughs> That's totally locked. Well, let's... I don't know what I'm doing. I didn't mean to do that. Do I, like, pour it in the cauldron, I guess? Or do I have to make the pentagram right underway? We also didn't go all the way. Oh, wait, we did go all the way. I forgot this was the first- oh, this is the- maybe- ah, I see, I see. Maybe like this? No. I don't know, I thought you might draw the pentagram on this. Guess not. So we put the ash in the water. We have the recipe, what are you talking about? A pentagram made of ashes. Like, do we put it around the this, this soup? I did... Wait, did I do... No, I did the candles. Okay, so we're making the pentagram. Well, this worked great. A very, very nicely done, friend. I feel like this is just not a good idea, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do to be creative about this. Then we light it up with the matches. Alright, let's do this. I'll get my kitty back. I hope it works. It should work. They are evil. But I'm a bit scared. I've never done these kind of things before. Well, we're missing a lot of stuff, too. Ah. 
Yeah, I seen the message, but I don't. I don't really know how to help you, buddy. So, maybe we need to write something on a piece of... Ah, wait a minute. Maybe we use the paper with the typewriter. If that makes sense. We do have a paper. Maybe we like write over the recipe. I could write something, but what? I don't know. So we need to find a recipe. But I'm not sure what. We need to find a new recipe to write over. To write over um, the thing. But what? I already kind of started the pentagram, which isn't great. Sorry if this has been like quiet. I am like, my brain is in overdrive trying to find out what I'm supposed to do. And I just, I'm not sure. the flower in? So what's Sorry, I know we're like looking back, but what's tiny that we can pinch with our tweezers? I'm not sure any of these. Trying to look for something we could have missed at all. Because you never know. I think the priority might be to get the thing down in the well and that could be like the true recipe we need. It's just the problem is... Oh, burn the recipe. <laughs> but you can't you can't burn paper. Okay, baking soda. The ant thing. I'm not clever enough. I'm I'm a little stumped here. This maybe. I mean, why would it work? Um, it's 
a little yikes right now. sure what to do. I'll probably stop after an hour then next session we can try a bit more and if we don't find it then uh guess I'll have to take another blow to my ego. <laughs> I mean we've clipped everything which must mean we have to be able to combine something by to guess. So we're in desperation strats, obviously that wouldn't work. Why would it? Why would any of these work? It just doesn't make logical sense to me. Okay, baking soda. You never know with these things, even though it is extremely cheese. It's probably worth it. And the tweezers obviously don't work. I didn't mean to do that, but let's go back here anyways. Oh, what should I do? I refuse to do this. It can't be a good thing. Maybe there's something else I can do. I think I might have... Maybe I messed up too much because I already used the ashes. I... I broke the broom. Like we're almost out of options. I think I'm almost ready to call it. <laughs> oh my god. Imagine taking another hint. I'm just like, yeah, I feel like this is a better hint to take than a... Uh, to be fair, I think this is better to take than the stupid math problem. I'm looking, it's... My ego's already taking a hit, it's fine. Uh, let's just do it now, I kinda wanna just... Just finish this. <laughs> finish this area. It's Or maybe not the whole area, but... Let, let's just see. I'm dumb, okay. I didn't look at it all, but it, we just missed something. All right, so that's fine, that's fine. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't look the whole answer. We just looked right ahead. Apparently we missed a plank on the outside. All right, that's good. I think that's a good hint instead of just solving everything. Yeah, this apparently, I thought that was literally just part of the bridge. <laughs> I'm so dumb, dude, but I'll be honest. I I just look over things. I probably wouldn't have found that So we'll, we'll cut this down and then we'll stop here I guess Because who knows this might just be the whole chapter two. See what the this new recipe says. So I just wasted 
ashes, so who knows. I wonder if there's like a bad ending. I feel like there is if you don't do it right. Alright. Good job. And jump. Frog! Oh, well this is the heart of the frog? Ah, that burned. What? There's no fire. I can't touch the bottle. It really burns. Can we tweezer it? There we go. I got the paper. This is so exciting. The world tries to hide revealing the true soul. The world hides the truth from you, work your soul through life, and you'll understand the purpose. Of this act, if you try to corrupt the essence, your soul will be hidden and never see the faith of the truth. To destroy an impure soul or your freedom to those who are trapped, you will need blood from the executor of the ritual, which is me. Five black candles which we have, we made the ash, we did a blue bloomed moonlight rose. Salt and pepper and hairs from the person you want to bewitch. So we need it. We need the twins' hairs and we just need our blood. Draw the pentagram with the ashes inside the black and white square. Put a light black hand on everything. Fill the cauldron with water and put the other elements. Pour boil. Pour over the person you want to bewitch and repeat these words while you rock around the pentagram. Oh, this is more magic to destroy evil. Um, I really should do this instead. But how can I get the hair from the girls? I have to trick them, but how? Interesting. I'm sure we can take... I guess we can't take the heart from the frog. Oh, maybe you can't do the bad thing. Okay, so I think we stop here. Um, we got... I'm assuming it's just called the good recipe, right? Well, apparently we can't see names right now. Oh yeah, it is the good recipe, so that's good. We took a hint. It's, it's small. I knew the only thing we were missing is an item, obviously, and um... Sometimes you overlook stuff in this game. <laughs> it's alright. While, while it helps, it, it does feel like a slap in the face. Though, honestly, I would take a hint to find an, an item I'm just not seeing over, like, a dumb math problem, which I could have definitely solved. Because who knows if I would ever notice that was a plant, not part of the dock. <laughs> but thanks for watching. Next time, we will... I mean, we have most of the ingredients. We'll cast the ritual on the witch and save Mr. Midnight and see where the game goes from there. Because if we do successfully save Mr. Midnight, which is kind of like a big objective that I would think we would do much later. I mean, I guess we need to still get to our aunt, who I still assume to be the murderer, but who knows. Um, and escape the doctors chasing us, because there's still that. And of course, there's still the mystery of the... The main devil guy versus the skeleton guy who's kind of helped us. But yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you next time. Maybe Friday or Sunday. Because again, I want to get chapter 2 at least done um, before Hiru Hidurashi week.